I feel weird. I start walking while holding the knife in my hand. I walk up to the doll inside the tub and I tell her, I have found you, Fiona. Welcome. Hi, my name is Jenny. I'm at my grandparents' house. I love coming here. My grandparents' house is huge and I always find new interesting things I haven't seen before. It's almost midnight. Everyone has gone to bed. A few hours ago, I went down to the basement and found an old book. The title was One Man Hide and Seek. It intrigued me, so I brought it up to my room. After reading about it, I understood that it was some sort of a ritual. It said that the one man hide and seek is a ritual for contacting the dead. The spirits are always looking for bodies to possess. In this ritual, you will summon such a spirit by offering it a doll instead of a human body. I have to try it. I stand up from my bed and start to walk down the stairs while trying to make as little noise as possible. I don't want to wake anyone. I start to gather everything I need for the ritual. A doll, rice, enough to stuff the doll, one needle and a crimson thread, one pair of nail clippers, a knife and one cup of salt water. I am so excited. Now it's time to start preparing. I open up the doll, remove all of the stuffing and then restuff it with rice. The rice represents innards and also has the role of attracting spirits. I then clip a few pieces of my nails and put it inside the doll as well. Afterwards, I sew the doll together again with a crimson thread. This represents a blood vessel. It seals the spirits up inside the doll. I then walk into the bathroom. I fill the tub with water and then leave the bathroom. I have to go to my hiding place now. I chose the living room. In the hiding place there must be a TV. I walk into the living room and then place a cup of salt water on the ground. And now I have to wait until 3 a.m. The book says that I have to give the doll a name, so I decide to name her Fiona. Three, two, one, three a.m. I stand up and walk over to the doll. I start saying the same phrase to the doll three times. I have to tell the doll that I am it and I will look for her. Jenny is the first it. Jenny is the first it. Jenny is the first it. I then go to the bathroom and put the doll inside the tub. Now I have to turn off all the lights inside the house, go back to my hiding place and turn on the TV. I do everything in order and now I have to count to 10 with my eyes closed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I stand up. It's so dark. I almost can't see anything. I have to go to the bathroom now. Everything hits me. I'm starting to get a bit creeped out. I feel weird. I start walking while holding the knife in my hand. I walk up to the doll inside the tub and I tell her, I have found you, Fiona. And then I stab her. By cutting the thread off, I will break the seal and release the spirits that I have trapped. You are the next it, Fiona. I say while taking her out of the tub and leave her on the counter in the bathroom. Then I run into the living room and hide behind the sofa. I pick up the salt water cup and pour half of it into my mouth. The book wrote specifically to not drink it, just to keep it in the mouth. If I go out of the hiding place without salt water, 
I may encounter something wandering around inside the house, which may harm me in some way. The way to feel the presence of something wandering around is to watch if something happens on the TV. I get out of my hiding place and start looking for the doll. The book said that the doll is not necessarily in the bathroom. Whatever happens, do not spit out the salt water. I walk around inside the house looking for the doll. There, my heart drops. It's under my bed. How is this possible? I quickly pull out the rest of the salt water and pour it over the doll. And then I spit out the salt water from my mouth onto it as well. I say, I win, I win, I win, three times. This is supposed to end the ritual. Afterwards, I go into the garden and I burn the doll. After I finished the ritual, I felt a bit weird. Why did I do it? What did I think I was going to accomplish? But most important, my grandmother has been acting very weird ever since that night. She has become very mean, she walks strange, and no one recognizes her anymore. I have spent countless nights wondering. When the spirit was released from the doll, where did it go? Did it find another body to possess?